Okay, you can see here in this field, on my right is corn, on my left is soybean. But then in the shadow of the tree, let's see right there, that big ball spot is. There's a groundhog burrow right in the middle of that field and he's, he's eating about 40 square yards of freaking soybean already. So he has got to go. I got a call yesterday from a landowner saying he got a big issue. This is an area of land where I trap actually. And you can see here in the soybean field this big giant ball patch right where I'm standing in the middle of it. And right there is the culprit. That is a groundhog burrow. So we're gonna have to sort him out, see what we can do. Now you can see that I'm up right next to the burrow. You can see uh, what sort of an excavation he has going on here. I'm standing right in the middle of that big clear spot that I showed you before. He's eating all that down to nothing. So there's nothing there's nothing left of it. No shoots, nothing. He eats it all the way down to the ground. Now the corn they won't eat. The deer will eat the corn, but only when it comes out later. But the soybean here is like groundhog candy. You can see what the, the difference is here. You can see the line right here. That's as far as he's got. So he has about I don't know 40 square yards eaten away. You can see the size of the hole that they dug. It's almost like a badger hole. He excavates all this dirt out. And then when the guy comes in to, to collect the soybeans or to collect the corn, when the groundhog has the hole dug in it and his tractor wheel goes down in there, it, that ain't fun. <laughs> so we'll have to see what we can do about the groundhog. All right, here's his burrow. So what I've done is I flattened the bottom of it here. That I'm gonna put a cage trap right over the top of the hole. And I'm gonna pin it down so it can't move around or he can't he the only way to get out of the hole then he has to walk right into the cage trap. And we'll see if we get him. I'm not gonna set the trap tonight. I'm gonna to move the dirt tonight because I want to make him suspicious because then he'll move. And I'll set the trap and we'll see if we can get him. Ah, oh, there's a fox right there. right under the tree. There you go, it's a red fox. That was cool to see. Okay, today we left the groundhog a little bit of a surprise. Last night I dug out the burrow a little bit more so I could fit the trap into it a cage trap in here right over the tunnel blocked off the you know the entrance way to the cage he's got a little bit of soybean his fate obviously his favorite thing to eat on the end of the cage here he has no option now but to come out of the cage so of course this only works as long as he's in the burrow right now the landowner hasn't seen him we've been looking for him but I haven't seen him yet so we'll see how this works. If this doesn't work, I'll dig the burrow further back and I'll put a maybe I'll put a, a trap right in you know a foothold trap or something right in front of the burrow. And we'll see what goes on. I've got another burrow to go look at now. We see what's not quite as bad a damage as this. But he's starting. Landowner told me that he had seen another groundhog up underneath the cabin up here on top of the field, so. I have to go and check under that for burrows too. But we'll give this a couple of days and see what happens. Well, I've been checking this for a couple of weeks. Never did catch that groundhog. He was already gone out of this field. See my trap there, I just took it out. And I did fill the hole back in and level the ground off pretty decently so the farmer's tractor won't get stuck in the, in the hole. I did see some spots here. There's one here. That's a test hole, but it might have been another groundhog trying to make a burrow. And there was another, another one here. Another tester hole. But 
that burrow is not being used. I think the groundhog came in, ate what he could, and left. You see how much higher the corn is now since our last video up here. But we'll keep looking. Make sure the groundhog doesn't do any more damage. <laughs>